Hi, this is my gaming addiction. You know, maybe you found that perfect cave and you feel like it might be just close enough to the surface to connect electricity up to solar or wind power, but then you realize it's just too far. What do you do in this situation? I'm going to give you a simple design to basically daisy chain together some fuel generators. And to do this, I'm going to demonstrate how one fuel generator can take a maximum of 500 fuel, which should last two hours. For this demonstration, I'm going to use one fuel, which based on the website rustrition.io should last 15 seconds. Basically how this is going to work is the first fuel generator will run out of fuel after 15 seconds instead of two hours. After 10 seconds, this timer is going to shut off electricity going over here to the blocker, which means any electricity that's left over is going to go all the way through and force start the second fuel generator. So you can imagine with something running for two hours, you might want the timer to turn off after one hour and 59 minutes. But for this demonstration, we're going to be using 15 seconds of gas and 10 seconds of a timer. Basically, you're going to send things up to a electrical branch and configure this so that whatever goes off on the left side is 11, which gives us enough power to have 10 electricity on the turret and one on the OR switch. So you can see from the electrical branch, it's going right over here, and that's going to allow our turret to run for the first two hours, in our case, 15 seconds. Whatever is left over is going to go on to the next, uh, next electrical branch. Configure this to have one plus one. So we need two electricity to go off on the left here. You still need to power the toggle switch for the timer. So that means on this next electrical branch, set a minimum of one, which by default always changes to two. So just put it at two to go over here and that will allow the timer to uh, be toggled. Right here, whatever's left over, Ideally, you would want to save whatever is not being used to go into a battery, but just to keep things simple, um, let's have it go directly up to the blocker. Whatever is left over cannot go through this blocker until the timer shuts off power to this guy. As soon as this has zero power, whatever's left over is going to go all the way down to the force start button on your next fuel generator. So let's get this set up. I'll put one fuel into this guy and one over here. All right. So we have the turret on right now and you can hear the timer uh, or you can see it at least. As soon as that goes off, we'll have two green lights here and the second one will start up. There we go. After about four seconds, this is going to shut off. It will run out of gas and this one will continue on. So that's a simple design. Imagine this goes for two hours and then after an hour and 59 minutes, this guy gets turned on Then you have another one and another one and another one and another one and then eventually your turret will get turned off. Hopefully after you log in and fill up your generators with more gas. So that's my short but simple design. I can link to a restriction design for this um, in the description below. And thanks for watching.